my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician and today I'm going to tell you two different ways to find prime factorization. So if I wanted to do the prime factorization of the number 36, my first method is going to be one that most of you are probably familiar with which is the factor tree. I'm going to take the number 36 and break it up into two factors. Any two factors that you can think of that go into 36 aside from 1 and 36. So I would think of the numbers 3 and 12. Once I break it up, I'm going to circle any numbers that I see that are prime, and 3 is prime, so I'm going to circle it. I'm going to move over to 12 and continue to break it down into factors. So now you're thinking of two numbers that go into 12, and the numbers for me that come to mind are 4 and 3. And if you use 6 and 2, it's fine, you would still get the same answer at the end. Now when I look at 4 and 3, 3 is prime, so I'm circling that. I'm going to go ahead and break down 4 further. So 4 can be broken down into 2 and 2. These are both primes, so I'm going to circle them both. Now that I'm done breaking it down, all the ends of my branches are circled because they're prime, I can go ahead and write it out as a prime factorization. So I have 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So my prime factorization of 36 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 in standard form. And if I wanted to write in exponential form, I take this 2 times 2 and I rewrite it as 2 squared and I take my 3 times 3 and I rewrite it as 3 squared and that's the prime factorization. Now my second method would be to use something called a division ladder where I take the number 36 and I'm going to draw an upside down division bar and I'm thinking about a prime number that I know that goes into 36 and one that comes to mind for me is the number 3 and 3 goes into 36 12 times okay so you wrote the number out put an upside down division bar thought of a prime number that goes into it and divided it now, draw another step to your division ladder. Think of a prime number that can go into 12. The number for me that comes to mind is 2. So I'm going to write a 2 out here. 2 goes into 12 6 times. Draw your next division ladder step. What's a prime number that can go into 6? Mm, 3. So 3 goes into 6 2 times. And now what's a prime number that can go into 2? Two, 2. And 2 goes into 2 one time. When you see that one, you've got to remember one and done. And all these numbers right here on your side are your prime factorization. So you notice they're the same numbers I have here, just in a different order. So I'm going to reorder this into lowest, least to greatest. Two times two times three times three. And I'm done. I got the same answer. Again, I can rewrite it in exponential form. And the only thing you have to remember about the division ladder method is all the factors you pull out on the side have to be prime factors. So there's two different ways to find the prime factorization of a number.